This is John Voquette with the Newtown Bee, and we are here at the Municipal Center with First Selectman Dan Rosenthal and Newtown Health District Director Donna Culbert. This is number 17 of our Newtown Bee COVID-19 clips. These are uh, interactive messages from our town officials in regards to the latest information you need to know about COVID-19, and now uh, most of the attention has turned away from testing and towards vaccines. Uh, Dan, you've uh, been at and seen a number of successful vaccine clinics in town. How do you think it's going? You know, I think the statistics indicate it's going very well. Um, that's thanks to you know Donna's staff and the staff in the Human Services Department who have been you know really working to schedule our residents and getting get them in. The biggest impediment, of course, is still the amount of supply that we're getting. And you know, folks, I'm I'm excited that we keep expanding the, the the those eligible, and the demographic keeps growing. And again, we've done very well in the categories that have been eligible to date. However, you know, there's now a lot of people el eligible between school systems now and 55 and older. That demographic is very large. Um, we're still not getting the local allocation that we would need to you know, vaccinate those groups in great speed. So we do encourage anyone that's now eligible, please use any and all means. Use VAMS. If you see that uh, a pharmacy, uh, area hospital or anybody are offering the opportunity to get vaccinated, we do encourage people to take advantage of that. We will eventually call folks, but just to put it in perspective, we're down to about age 70 in terms of scheduling through the senior center. So it's going to be some time before we get to 55 and olders. And then of course that network is gonna expand as we as we go on. So right. people should use any and all means to get vaccinated. Right, and, and Donna, that is a, a, a message uh, specifically in relation to people f for whatever reason who might want to wait to get their vaccine in Newtown. But there are opportunities uh, and if folks can travel uh, the longer or further they can travel, the more opportunity there may be for them, right? Yes, it, it's been expressed to us pretty emphatically from the state health department that more and more vaccines coming into the state, we're trying to create more and more access points for people. So if people are able to travel, not necessarily even far, but if they can, there will be vaccine available in a lot of different venues. Um, you know, we're gonna continue to offer vaccine here locally going to be based on what we get for allocation. Um, we're happy to do that. It's gone very well. It's just really a matter of how much we get. So, but again, State Health Department has really um, strongly messaged to us that more and more vaccine is coming to Connecticut. And so we're feeling very optimistic that you know, a greater portion of our population is getting vaccinated. Well, this morning at 1201 uh, AM, as we are taping this on March 1st, the eligibility for 55 and over uh, became available. But uh, earlier on the weekend, of course, we heard that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine's been approved for emergency use. But I imagine you are backing the CDC and Dr. Anthony Fauci's advice. Uh, take what you can get. Don't pick and choose and wait around for a specific vaccine. Absolutely. And vaccination is a very, very important tool, you know, in our toolbox of protecting people, the effectiveness of um, reducing serious illness and death is just phenomenal for all of these vaccines and that's you know a really really important thing that we can do any other important advice that you want to leave for folks who are now eligible um well you know i hate to say be patient but be patient and um persevere and looking i know that some folks are discouraged if they've looked today and they don't see some opportunities i think the system's a little flooded today with people searching for vaccination so uh I want people to hang in there and try, and, and I think more and more opportunities will open up every day. I mean, providers aren't going to open up appointment slots until they feel pretty confident of what they have for supply. So I think people will see those openings continue to come. And this advice may have been repeated and repeated and repeated, but once you get your shot, whether it's the Johnson & Johnson one dose or one of the two doses, don't walk out of the vaccine clinic and uh, uh, throw away all your masks and no. uh, disinfect it. No, I try to tell people you are not Teflon after you've gotten your vaccination. You still need to protect yourself and protect everyone around you. Take all of those precautionary measures. And, um, and you know, there's certainly light at the end of the tunnel. We're, we're making great progress. Kudos to your team. Well, it, it's a phenomenal community. All the communities we work with, I am, you know, people will often, you know, thank me, but it, my health district team and the whole town team and the whole town 
population, everyone has really pitched in, done great work, and I couldn't be um, prouder of our community. Excellent. Dan, any last words for folks that may be uh, pushing those buttons and sitting on hold for a long time, waiting for their appointment? Yeah, well, first of all, you know, Donna stole my thunder. I mean, I think we do have a great community and folks have cooperated on, on all fronts. I mean, going back to when, you know, COVID first hit, you know, the way people have all looked out for one another and, and worked together. Uh, I'm not surprised by, I knew our, our community had it within it, but um, it's no less gratifying to see. I would say, you know, yet yeah, to that point, folks that are trying to get appointments, I would close with this. Take what you can get. So if you do go in and you see that uh, April is the, the earliest date you can find, secure that appointment. Don't wait because, again, more, more and more people are kind of coming into the pipeline. And then pursue, you know, if you see that the pharmacy has a number that you can call to get a vaccine or a local hospital, then you can go in and cancel that BAMS appointment, but I wouldn't delay securing an appointment, even if it's not the appointment you may want. I wouldn't um, wait because I think you might find that when you finally go to schedule, uh, you're scheduling even further out than uh, you originally thought. Thank you. With over uh, 1,500, approaching 1,600 positive COVID cases in Newtown and sadly more than 60 deaths, uh, this is not an issue that uh, uh, the vaccines are going to be uh, turning the tide on in, in a period of weeks or perhaps even months. We appreciate the great work that you're doing. Uh, First Selectman Dan Rosenthal, Health District Director Donna Colbert here for our 17th Newtown B COVID-19 Clips, our series of video messages uh, articulating outreach on the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm John Boquette from the Newtown B. Thank you folks for your service and assistance to the community through all of this, uh, Donna you. and Dan, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.